Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Rethinking Narcissism, a creation by Craig Malkin. In Rethinking Narcissism, 2015, new insights on arrogance and vanity are offered, exploring their historical and cultural contexts and the various facets of narcissism. The book also offers practical advice on identifying and managing relationships with narcissistic individuals. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Craig Malkin, a clinical psychologist, has authored relationship articles for prestigious outlets like Time and Psychology Today, Additionally, he leads workshops on couples therapy through YM psychotherapy and consultation. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, discover the reasons and techniques to practice self-love. The text discusses narcissism, explaining that narcissists have an excessive self-love that makes them focus solely on themselves in conversations, causing frustration in their friends. It mentions that narcissism has various forms and gradations and discusses the origins and prevention of this behavior. The summarizer mentioned how parents can impact the development of narcissism in individuals and introduce the concept of an emotional hot potato. Key idea number one. Debate on narcissism dates back to ancient times. Narcissism has been a debated topic since ancient times, with different perspectives on self-love. Aristotle believed the good man should love himself most, whereas Buddha saw the self as an illusion, advocating love for others. Sigmund Freud introduced the concept of narcissism in the early 20th century, emphasizing the importance of self-love in building meaningful relationships. Freud viewed self-love in infancy as essential for personal development. Heinz Kohut later argued that a healthy self-image is central to human nature, with the love and admiration of others contributing to self-confidence and growth. Key idea number two, a spectrum can help differentiate between healthy and unhealthy narcissism. Humans have a mix of strengths and weaknesses, not purely good or evil. Avoid black and white thinking when assessing character by using a spectrum for different personality traits. Zero represents abstinence and 10 signifies addiction on the narcissism spectrum. Those at zero are overly selfless, while 10 craves constant validation. Healthy balance lies between four and six, with five being ideal for being successful yet selfless. Moderation is key in managing narcissistic tendencies. Key idea number three. Narcissism varies and has three forms. Narcissism is flexible, fluctuating based on situations. It can manifest in various forms. Extroverted, introverted, and communal narcissism. Extroverted narcissists seek attention openly, while introverted ones avoid it despite feeling superior. Communal narcissists pride themselves on being generous. Adolescence is a period where narcissism can be necessary for self-esteem. Key idea number four, genetics and upbringing play a significant role in determining our capacity for self-love. Genes and upbringing influence behavioral tendencies, including narcissism, with examples of Jean and Chad illustrating the impact of parenting styles. Jean's upbringing led to low self-esteem, while Chad's excessive praise resulted in arrogance and isolation. Both cases highlight the importance of both nature and nurture in shaping our sense of self-worth. Key idea number five. Narcissism can be recognized by being aware of warning signs. The text explains how to recognize narcissistic behavior, such as a lack of self-confidence, sensitivity to criticism, and projecting emotions onto others. It highlights the challenges of dealing with narcissistic individuals in relationships and poses questions about how to navigate interactions with them. Key idea number six, balance your partner's narcissism by being vulnerable. Research shows that narcissists can display empathy when exposed to others' suffering. By calmly expressing how their behavior affects you, you can trigger feelings of compassion in them. 
This approach can help transform narcissistic behavior in your relationships. In conclusion, the book discusses narcissism in various forms, highlighting that some cases are healthy while others are not. Unhealthy narcissism can be identified through specific signs, and loved ones can assist in curbing such behavior by expressing their need for love and care. Further reading is recommended for a deeper understanding of narcissism from The Narcissist You Know by Joseph Burgo. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.